Well, what comes into your mind when you hear the name Africa? Opportunity. I think the word is opportunity. This is a, it's so vast. Africa is vast. It's so untapped. There's so much things to do in all sectors. Uh, I think with passion, uh, people, young people especially, can do just about anything in this, in this continent. How are you all doing? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in Luanda, Angola. Today is my last day, but I just want to ask you a question. Have you guys ever been to Maputo? Because I feel like this city, Luanda, it's more like a replica of Maputo because I have been to Maputo and I know what I'm saying. Let me know in the comment section if you can, you know, see the similarities between Luanda and Maputo. Do you know that Angola got a youthful population? And it's so exciting to see that the youths are taking control of their own narrative. The youths are rebuilding their own country because this country has been through a lot. I mean, after being here for the past 10 days, it's exciting to see that it's actually the youths that are building the country. I'm here to introduce you a young man who is rebuilding the country by changing the narrative. My Hello, brother. brother. How are you? I'm good. good. Good to see you. Good, good to see you. You look so young, man. I was just telling them that it's exciting to see that young people from Angola are rebuilding their country. How does that make you feel? Look, it makes me feel good. Um, Angola is a young country, mm. fast-growing country, and being part of this change is definitely a humbling experience. Can, you, can, can we answer? Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Hola. Yeah. That's all I know. That's all you know. <laughs> I'll teach you some more Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, welcome. So your office is upstairs? Yeah, office is upstairs, 11th floor. Mm. Small office, uh, but we have a small team. Um, with social media these days, we don't need such a big team. Mm. But we definitely make a big impact, so that's what's important. Especially for the consulting side, uh, for, for the real estate agency. But for you know the Airbnb model business that we have, we have other offices. Some of our um, workers stay with uh, mm. Wilson over mm. there at his office. So. How, how does it make an impact means to you? Look, it, it, it's changing people's lives. It's you know creating jobs. Uh, this is definitely what impact is. Um, luckily, we're doing that. Uh, even if it's at a small scale. Uh, we can see the, the drastic changes that we make in, in people's lives. Mm. We had employees who started with us, then branched out to oil and gas companies. You know, they, they grew, which is, you know, something that I, this is what I work for, to see other people, you know, rise and, yeah. You know what, I would love to talk to you more because your accent shows that you used to be based in America. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I, actually, I, actually, I actually did. I used to live in Michigan. For how long? I stayed 16 years. Approximately 16 years, yeah. I've been back now 10, 11 years. What took you to America in the first place? Well, well my father decided to, to take me, you know, at the time Angola was going through a civil war. Uh, not exactly when I left, but before. Um, you know, instability as well. Um, good education at the time, you know, it was, it was a no-brainer for me to go. My father, you know, And 16 decided. years later, he decided to come back? Yeah. Why Come back to, to the motherland. Why would you do that? Look, I think it's um, the impact we can make here uh, as young uh, entrepreneurs with vision is far greater than what I could have done there just because of competition. Uh, and it's your own country, so why not? The, the, the question should be why not? Do you regret coming back? Not at all. Not at all. Uh, if the way the world is shifting now, everything is looking towards Africa. So it was probably a visionary decision that, that, that we took. Well, what comes into your mind when you hear the name Africa? So when I hear the name Africa, what comes to mind is opportunity. I think the word is opportunity. This is, a, it's so vast. Africa is vast, it's so untapped. There's so much things to do in all sectors. Uh, I think with passion, uh, people, young people especially, can do just about anything in this, in this continent. 
See, as a young guy like you, you're living in America. I mean, that is one of the places that I think most of us want to go, sure. you know, to go live our best life. You had everything in America, For but sure. you chose to come back, yeah. you know, yeah, where I'm from. Yeah, we normally ask, is, is everything okay with you, you know? <laughs> Are you mad? Yeah. <laughs> No, it's, it's like I was saying before, it's actually vision, you know, it's uh, every country has had people who rebuilt it, hmm. you know, hmm. and hmm. why not us, you know, why not young people like us that, you know, can start taking these steps to, to rebuild it, you know, the U.S. had the founding fathers, you know, that rebuilt America, we can have these same people here and it can start with us. America is America today because of the pioneers who had set the foundation for their country. And those countries, they love their country very much. So because they love their country very much, that has really helped them to develop to be where they are today. We just have to be bold and strong and go for it. <laughs> I think there are so many young people that are living in the diaspora that watches this YouTube channel. Yeah. If you have a, a message, what would that message be? Look, the message would be um, learn as much as possible hmm. in whatever you're doing there and what you're studying. But know that you have a home and that needs rebuilding. And Africa is wel will welcome you. you know, it, we have a lot of opportunities here. Uh, I think that if we uh, come together mm. as a people, mm. um, we can definitely make this continent a better place. Wow. I, I love the fact that you keep on talking about opportunities, opportunities, yes. opportunities. Yes. I mean, what are the kind of opportunities that you think the young Africans living in the diaspora who are looking forward to come back here grabs whilst they, were, they are here? Today, technology, technology is something we need in, in, in large scale. I think this is a, an opportunity for uh, young programmers, um, people that are in tech uh, can bring back and, and contribute. Um, real estate as well, this is the sector I'm in. Um, this is definitely a place where you know, people can contribute. Um, and health, you know, health definitely I think is probably number one. Um, yeah, I think I think I think so. Now, now, <laughs> he'll he'll chop. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Now, now I want to know more about you and what you're doing in Angola. Okay. Welcome to my office. Oh, I need to lock my camera guy out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Very beautiful office, man. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah. I, I really want to know more about you and what you're doing in Angola to change lives and the people in here. Okay. So what we're doing is we're creating opportunities. We're creating jobs um, through our real estate agency called Clareza Real okay. and through new projects like Stadias, which is uh, Angola's first short stay model, uh, like Airbnb. Hmm. Um, creating creating jobs and impacting young people's lives here uh, through these projects. Is this an app? Yeah, this is an app um, uh, that you can download on uh, iOS and uh, Android. Uh, our official launch will be in November. Okay. Uh, we're 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 doing tests now, um, but we 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 definitely think that it, it'll be a game changer for for Angola. Um, you next time you come, you could book from your home, from Ghana, uh, which is you know something that I think we all we all need. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. And how long have you been back? I've been back uh, twelve years now. Twelve years I've been back, and I uh, used to work in uh, banking sector, um, and then went to the oil and gas sector, and then decided just to follow the entrepreneurial path. It's, I just had a bug. I just had, you know, something in me that decided to, you know, go for it. I've, I've always liked challenges as well. And how has the challenge been so far? Look, it's not easy. Um, mm. But, you know, it's, 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 if, it's easy, if it's too easy, everybody would do it. And, uh, you know, I, I like it. The biggest challenge I think we, 
not, we surpassed that. It, it was acceptance from the old school, you know, from, you know, the older guys, mm. like, who is this kid coming in in the sector that's usually, you know, for people that have large years of experience. Yeah. Uh, and gaining that um, trust uh, it was the biggest challenge, I think, mm. you know, but luckily through persistence and ethics and just, you know, being uh, responsible and delivering on what you promise, I think that's what allowed us to, you know, pass through that barrier and, and establish a name mm. for, for ourselves. How, how is the brand doing so far? The brand is doing well. A good social media presence. Uh, Clareza Real as an agency, it is, uh, it, it's, it's, it's doing very, very well. Mm. Um, uh, we would like the economy to be in a better space. Uh, but this, these are steps that, you know, we are all taking to guarantee that, you know, uh, Angola, you know, follows the right direction in that, in that sense. I, I heard Angola's uh, real estate is extremely expensive. Yeah. I don't know if it's still one of the most expensive in the world. I know it was at one point, um, but cost of construction is, is, is high. Uh, we, we do not produce most of the you know, materials, components that are needed for the real estate sector um, for construction. So this is, this is the main driving force. Inflation as well mm -hmm. um, is a big problem. Um, these are, these are the, some of the reasons that you know, real estate is expensive here. You know, um, I'm here, and I believe that after people seeing how beautiful Angola is, yeah. they would love to move to Angola. For sure. And I know and believe that when they see me with you, they trust me. Yeah. So now they're going to trust you. Yeah. So they're definitely going to come to you. For sure. But I wanted to know the most expensive unit that you guys got in here. Well, the most expensive now is $4 million. Um, what do you mean? Four million dollars. Yeah. For how many bedrooms is that? It's a five-bedroom house. Oh, okay. Five-bedroom house. Um, the the least expensive one is twenty-five thousand uh, dollars, which is a property in Kilamba, which is uh, I, I I don't know if you heard of it. That's what I leave. You oh, <laughs> you're, you're staying in Kilamba. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Staying in Kilamba. Yeah, yeah. So okay, you see. So I'm an affordable guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know. And, but but with, with a four million dollars. What's the location? So the location is Talatona, uh, which is uh, an urban area mm. uh, in South Luanda. Mm. And that's, that's where we, we have th that property for sale. These are one of the properties that we're currently selling. Uh -huh. um, we have apartments here, um, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom apartments uh, with this stunning view. Of, of, uh, of the marginal mm. um, yeah it's, it's beautiful man yeah this is this is this is nice <laughs> I, I, I want to tell you you need to have money to live in here I mean anytime you see swimming pool you know that it's expensive no but this time they gave you a swimming pool and they gave you a view of the ocean plus the city right yeah I, I want to buy one three bedroom I can can lend you uh, 1.5 million dollars 1.5 million dollars. <laughs> Welcome to Angola, baby. <laughs> what? But, but one thing that I really want you to tell me more about is the <coughs> app that you guys have. Yeah. So the app that we created, Stadias, uh, is an Airbnb model for Angola. Um, this concept came because there was a lot of requests from clients that wanted to uh, book short stays. And these requests just kept coming. And, you know, I decided to uh, create something innovative. Um, and Stadias was the solution. Um, Airbnb does exist here, but, you know, you have to pay in euros or dollars to stay in your own country. So <laughs> I thought that, that, that it was a no-brainer to, you know, create something like this. So that, which means this time you're going to pay in? Kwanzaa. You can pay in Kwanzaa. Uh, you can also pay, uh, you know, in dollars with your uh, MasterCard and, and uh, Visa. Uh, mm. Soon we'll have that option. Um, and, and, and through uh, uh, the, the, some, some payment wallets that we have here, mm. like PayPay, uh, which is a, the, the most famous one right now in the market. And it's made in Angola by an Angolan. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 
if you had a chance to change one thing in Angola, what would it be? Well, in real estate, I would definitely uh, invest in affordable housing because the type of real estate we have is only for the 3%. Uh, and my overall goal is to build affordable housing for, for, for the majority of, of the people of Angola. So that's my dream. How do you intend to do that? Well, hard work, persistence, and you know, one day, God willing, I think it's, it's definitely possible. You've been in Angola for 11 years right now. Will you say it's worth it? Uh, it's definitely worth it. Um, challenging, very challenging, uh, ups and downs. Hmm. But, you know, uh, we have an expression here in Portuguese that is quem corre por gosto não se cansa. Who runs with passion doesn't get tired. You know, so, so that's... The passion will lead you... Will lead you... There. There, exactly. That's amazing. Where do people find you? Well, um, our Instagram page, Clareza Real, uh, Stadias, uh, also on Instagram. Um, our website, clarezarreal.com. Um, that's, that's where people can find me. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. It's a pleasure meeting yeah, you. Yeah, pleasure. And definitely, we're going to do business together. Thank you. But you don't think somebody needs to bring you up to Ghana, to other part of Africa? For sure. We would definitely love to visit. I, I actually want to visit Lagos and Accra as well. Okay. I, I, Welcome. I, and you will be the guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a pleasure, man. Yeah, thank you.